I'm standing with Haytham Al Ghais, who is the OPEC governor for Kuwait. Um, Mr. Ghais, uh, could you please give us an idea about uh, the symposium, what you think of it, and the conversations that are taking place between uh, the uh, I IEA and OPEC, and, and what you think of this uh, whole setup? Of course, the IEF uh, plays a very important, very constructive role in uh, bringing together different views, let me say, between consumers and producers being represented by OPEC, the IEA, and the uh, U.S. Energy Information Ad Administration. So it's a very good platform and venue to exchange, as we are doing today, um, uh, views, exchange numbers on a technical level to develop an outlook and a consensus about how the world is projected, the oil uh, global supply demand balances are projected to be. And, and uh, what's striking today is actually the impressive uh, attendance by almost everybody. I've never seen such an attendance. And this is actually a sign of how important this venue and the symposium is for, for, for everybody in the industry. So this symposium has the potential to grow and the IEF has the potential to grow with all the uh, events and the global dialogue that's taking place, in, in your opinion? In my opinion, definitely. I think today is a sign of growth already compared to previous events. So uh, you can only build on that, you know, it's very positive and uh, I think with the support that um, the IEF is getting from all the member countries, uh, especially um, the host, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. OPEC and non-OPEC have been, uh, you know, involved in a declaration of cooperation since late 2016. It's set to continue until the end of this year. Do you feel encouraged with the signs that you're seeing and, and with the high compliance rates that you're seeing right now? Absolutely, I mean, um, full of confidence. Um, and, I, and a year ago, exactly this time, people were very skeptical, and we stood ground and we said this would we, we would get to where we are today. Uh, it's taken a bit longer than we've expected, but you know the market keeps changing, dynamic forces um, keep changing, and we have to be very uh, agile and maneuver. But I'm full of confidence. I mean, January already we're seeing uh, initial uh, compliance numbers much higher than December a new record and I think these numbers will be published very soon. This is all signs of how committed the 24 countries are between OPEC and non-OPEC.